bucket list adventure has begun. Bonjour, hola, and hello. My name is Will, and you're about to join me on another adventure. Welcome to Where in the World is Will? What in the world? I'm in Ephesus. Ephesus. I think that's how you say it, but this is an ancient town. Ruins, randomly. I thought I was just going to be sitting in Istanbul drinking tea, and now I'm at a place with ancient ruins. Amazing. Right now I'm sitting in an amphitheater. Amphitheater? Amphitheater? I don't know how to say it. In a friggin' amphitheater. Probably had some guy telling stories down there only a couple years ago. And then we all were sitting here listening. <laughs> wow. Good job, Rock. This is a cool spot. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. Myself. Oh, yeah, yeah. This guy is the main. His family lineage traces back to here. And uh, yeah, that view is amazing. Whew, but it is 100 degrees here, so that's like 40, what is it, 40, 40 Celsius? Yeah, it's like 40 Celsius, 100 Fahrenheit. Let's get some cool action shots. Marble that we're walking on, it's absolutely slippery. But it's worth it, just walk carefully, get some crocs. <laughs> I thought my hat was gonna fly off. It is slippy. so much parties hanging out huh library people just reading wonder what happened to the roof <laughs> it's just so many questions it's so epic maybe it's just played up through movies maybe it wasn't actually that epic but I have a feeling it was pretty cool I'm not numb. I'm not numb here. Where are we? Just curious. The Coco. We are in Alton Coom. Alton Coom. Alton Coom. Translates to Gold Sand. Gold Sand, which is, I guess, true? I don't know. So we're at the Coco Habana part of it, which is free. So that's how we roll. <sighs> wow. What a weird adventure today. Like little, <laughs> little baby fish? Yeah, but they're like they look schooling fish, so I don't know why they like kept like they would stand next to me and I'd move and they'd follow like like one, like there'd be one like this. Oh really? They're oh like, these little dark things? No no no. Oh, like, so oh I was like, really this doesn't look like big. fish. Everywhere you gotta get the GoPro. Shove it in there. It literally feels like the inside of like an aquarium. Yeah, this water's very, very clear. Very, very clear. But yeah, we went to the ruins and then we ended up here. 
bunch of taxis. That's one thing. Don't forget to bring uh, cash for taxis because you will need it. This view is amazing. If you know this reference from a movie, Coco Banana Ali is here. Please let me know in the comments. If you know, I'll be very surprised. It's a very, 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 very niche movie, I guess. But uh, Coco Banana Ali is here. Let me know if you know it. Uh, we're gonna enjoy the sunset and we'll see you later. turquoise bus it's like a street bus here in Cheshire and the band's going hard right now so if you can't hear me that's why that bus got packed very quickly so I'm saying you gotta have like broken money all the time doesn't matter where you are you might have to catch a taxi or a bus but here's the cats that we were at the other day and we're gonna grab some food hopefully it's not terrible <laughs> What a view. What a view. Got a quick wash up. It's our last night here in Cheshme. So we're gonna try to find some good food, enjoy the evening. I could just sit up here all day and all night <laughs> and uh, not eat anything. Enjoy the view. The answer is always crystal clear. It's called Everclear. But they don't have Everclear in this country, I don't think. Going with good old Bud. This is a big, it's huge. It's like two beers, which is nice. Well, the answer is crystal clear. It's called Everclear. Beer just makes you fat. Don't forget that. I don't know what it is about this beach town, specifically Cheshme. The layout just looks amazing. It's like the houses came right out of the mountain or hill, I don't know. I don't know if this is considered a mountain, but it's weird. It's very weird. I feel like this is the same feeling that I would get if I went to Greece or something about that time right before the sky goes dark completely. It's like a pause in the day where you can kind of reflect on the full day, really. But everything that you did, everything that you wanted to do and didn't do, everything that you did that you didn't want to do, everything that you got accomplished and everything that you need to accomplish tomorrow. And with this view, you've got a lot of thinking to do. You know, maybe you want a house and a different country. It's cheaper. Just a vacation house. Maybe you can have one here, one across the water. Of course, still having a Western income can make it possible. Yeah. Definitely makes you feel I don't know. the view like this makes you feel closer to the history or maybe the culture so next time you travel try to get a view of wherever you are whatever city you're at whatever landscape you're in just right before the sun completely sets See if you don't feel something different. <laughs> Let's go eat back at Hassan Osta. Came a little late. We're just getting the end of the buffet line, basically. We got a couple, a couple things that I want to try out. Some dumplings, which is this thing. 
Come on. Mm. It's creamy. Is it good? Yeah, it's like a creamy. Mm. That's proper. There's some meat in there. Very good. Um, we got basically the leftovers. And they're all pretty good. It's like a homemade, right? It's like a homemade type place. Yeah, a homemade type place. It's very, very good. This is probably like the first meal and we'll probably get like two more after, so stick around. We're absolutely stuffed, but we might get some Terra pizza. I don't think so. Terra Forma pizza. The Sally's beautiful. We're stuffed. We're, man, what a good day. What a good view. We're gonna get some Don Durma maybe. I'll see you tomorrow. Next time on Where in the World is Will? Maybe you give me fear now. You whip up my appetite.